Hey, hey everyone! I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. So I'm getting ready to make some dinner and we're going to use our taste buds today to make meatloaf and mashed potato goats, okay? So little backstory, um, it's actually my daughter's birthday today, so she requested this for dinner. So we are going to come alive and cook this right along so you can follow right along and make this at home. It's super easy. It is really cheap too, especially right now if you're trying to save money, right? Is anybody trying to save money? Come and save money if that's you right now. Um, this is something that you can make at home, super easy. You can involve your kids, and it's like my daughter's favorite, right? So we don't. We I've only had it like three times, but she remembers this recipe when it comes out, and that's what she requested for her birthday. So that's what we're making. <laughs> All right. So if you're on live, comment live. If you're on later in the replay, comment replay. But let's just hang out and cook this together. And of course, we are going to use our taste bud spices, okay? So this is actually a, not a taste buds recipe, but it is a Pamper Chef recipe. And we're gonna use some of our extra taste bud spices. So I decided to use the garlic and herb and the bell pepper herb rub. So that's the cool thing when you get a taste bud subscription, you'll have these pouches. You'll have lots of them because you get three of them every month, um, but sometimes it's, you know, you can mix and mingle and you can use them for other things. They make really great dips, but you have these like special spices laying around that you can spice up your regular meals with, all right? So I'm actually going to use ground turkey today, and um, I know what I forgot. Let me see if I can open it this way, but you can use ground beef, ground chicken, whatever else that you want, and we're also going to sneak in some veggies. We're going to add in some super veggies as well, okay? So this might be a minute because we're making this together. Um, <laughs> yes, it was my son's birthday yesterday and then Gigi's birthday today. They're one day apart. It's all we could squeeze out, so we'll take it. So they're always back to back. <laughs> so yeah, so it's actually, um, you know what's really funny and what's really cool about have being or have been a paper chef consultant now for 12 years is that my kids are paper chef babies. So when Marco was born, I've already been doing Pamper Chop for six months, right? So I started in 2010 and Marco was born in 2010. So um, they all they know is Pamper Chop, right? So the other day we were looking, yesterday we were looking at birthday pictures and it's like I have all these pictures of my kids because of Pamper Chop. I mean, I'm not saying I didn't take pictures without doing Pamper Chop, but because we were testing recipes, they were taking pictures with new products, they were unboxing. Um, like, you know, so I have all these extra memories with my kids and videos because of my Pamper Chef business. So it was so fun. And, um, you know, Marco's, my son's favorite dessert is lava cake. It's a Pamper Chef recipe. You can make it in 10 minutes in the microwave. You know, that's what he requests for his birthday all the time. And then Gigi asks for a Pamper Chef recipe. So it's like Pamper Chef business is a family business, okay? You can involve your kids. You can involve your grandkids. And it's something that, a knowledge, and something you can teach to your kids as well. So I'm totally getting sidetracked. This is not what I came here to talk to you about. But it is $49 to join this month. So contact your consultant. All right, enough of that. All right, so let me know where you guys are watching from. I'm going to give you a knife to open the ground turkey. And we are going to get started. And we're going to use our mini loaf pan, okay? So this one is super cute. Um, that's what the recipe calls for. Of course, you can use any pan you have or round circles, but it's going to be like meatloaf on the bottom, and then you put, put like a little well in it, and then once they come out of the oven, you like top it with mashed potatoes. And then you could even, you know, put some um, gravy on it or anything like that, and your kids are just going to be happy, <laughs> okay? So, um, all right, let's get the show on the road. So you need one and a half pounds of ground beef, ground turkey, anything like that. So we're going to dump that in here. I use ground turkey, which by the way, guys, again, let me see who commented. Who said they are looking to save money right now? It's a little crazy out there, right? It's a little interesting world. So who is looking to save money? Because I know that we love our ground beef, okay? Um, but if you buy ground turkey, especially in things like tacos, like it's cheaper and nobody's going to notice. I mean, maybe some really specific people are going to notice, but or do half and half. It is a lot cheaper to buy ground turkey. Okay, so here we go. We have one and a half cups of ground beef. We need a half a cup of barbecue sauce and a quarter cup of milk. So we are going to use or 
you can use your favorite meatloaf recipe, right? So it's just a fun twist on a regular meatloaf. So we're going to use a quarter cup of milk. So it is always important when you make meatloaf or meatballs that you have some moisture going in here. So a quarter cup of milk. All right, and then we're going to turn this around. And we're going to use it for barbecue sauce. So how many of you guys have the mandrel cup? How many of you guys have this little guy? Let's see who's got it. Hi Karen, hi Deanna, hi Timothy, thanks for popping in. So how many of you guys have this? This is the Mandrel Cup. It's been around since the first Pamper Chef catalog over 40 years ago, right? So it is really like a normal measuring cup, but it does dry and liquid at the same time. Did you know that you're not supposed to use like the dry measuring cup for liquids? It's a little different, right? So. It's really um, easy for liquids, of course, you just pour them in. But what it's really cool for is when you need something like barbecue sauce, you push it down to half a cup. So now we're pushing it down to the half a cup mark right here, and it makes your job really easy when you're measuring things like barbecue sauce, shortening. How about peanut butter? How many of you guys have ever measured peanut butter? And it's like a pain in the butt, right? Oh, look, there's everybody. There's my... Afternoon crew. Hi Stephanie, two Stephanies. Hi Jamie Lynn, thanks for popping in. Let me know where you guys are watching from. And um, we're making meatloaf and mashed potato boats today. Okay, so we're going to do half a cup of barbecue sauce. Your favorite, your favorite barbecue sauce, whichever one it is. See? And now we're going to get it all out by squeezing. See that? So that's what the Mandrel cup does. You get everything out nice and clean. You need this, okay? But I, if I had to guess, how many of you guys already have it? Let's see, who's already got it? Oops. Uh, it's been around for a long, long time. Yeah, over 40 years, it was the first cow that was yellow. I don't know, maybe there's some people out there that have the original yellow one. Okay, let's see what else. Um, we got the milk, we got the barbecue sauce. And then now we need some seasoning, so I already salted it. I'm going to use the bell, pe bell pepper and herb seasoning. Season as you like, or follow the recipe if you don't, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm just going to, I like to season just by heart, all right? So uh, I have both sizes, yes. And actually there's three. There's a baby one. There's a little, little baby one, which is super cute for, um, tablespoon and teaspoon. All right. Then the second seasoning is the garlic and herb. So these are our taste bud spices and you can get them in your taste bud subscription. And then we're going to sneak in some veggies because this is like meat and potatoes, <laughs> right? So there's no vegetables in it. So we have, Pamper Chaff has a line called Enrichables and we're going to use, see it's kind of orangey, this one's kind of orangey. We're going to use super veggie and just kind of sprinkle it in there. And feel better as a mom as you get to eat vegetables. That's how it works for me. So it is uh, literally just vegetables. If you look at the ingredients, it's just mushroom, pumpkin, parsnip, broccoli, and cauliflower powder. That's literally all it is. It's GMO-free, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, made without nuts, all those fun things. Not a diet food and not anything like that. You just literally add it to whatever you're making. You can add it to your smoothies, your batters, your pastas, your soups, your desserts. Put this in brownies, super easy, okay? Um, so we're going to use our mix and chop. I know many of you guys probably have that. Who has a mix and chop? Put it in the comments <clears throat> to actually mix this up. But we're mi missing two ingredients. We need one egg and we're going to need some breadcrumbs. And I thought I would show you guys a trick today to save some more money. All right, this is saving money tip number three. Who likes saving money tips? Put it in the chat. I'm going to go grab me an egg. Put it in the chat, guys. Put it in the chat. All right, I got the egg. Saving money. Yes, I know, right? It is crazy out there. Between gas and groceries. It's an interesting world, <laughs> okay? So um, so the next money-saving tip I'm going to show you is how many times 
have you bought bread? <laughs> Maybe you bought it on sale because it was uh, cheap, but how many times have you bought bread and then it's like old and it dries up, right? Especially by fresh bread, right? It's, it gets really hard, you don't know what to do with it, and you throw it away. So of course, you can make croutons with it, right? Or, here's what Italians do, okay? So growing up, my parents, it was always, I don't know, the things I remember sometimes, I swear. So growing up, for those of you that don't know, I grew up in Europe, my parents always had this basket on top of like a cabinet that had old bread in it, okay? Like not covered, it was just a basket and they would throw old bread, you know, pieces, bits and pieces in there. And then on the weekends, they would sit there and grate the bread and make their own bread crumbs because you want your bread to be really hard and you want your bread to, bread to be dry. You can't do that with moist bread, right? You can't make bread crumbs with moist bread. So, um... We don't have to grind anymore <laughs> with our hands, but we can use our deluxe cooking blender to make our own breadcrumbs. And let's play with it. I haven't done it in a long time, but I thought I would show you guys because I just happen to have some bread, some toast bread I made a couple days ago. So you just want to like wrap it in a cloth or just leave it out so it gets really hard, right? You see how this is like pretty rock hard, right? I mean, some of it is still a little soft, so we'll see what happens. But um, this is pretty hard, okay? Um, so I baked this bread myself. Our stones are amazing. If you don't have stone right yet, our stones are your must thing for, um, for baking, for, I mean, really baking. If you love to bake bread or if that's what you want to try, you really need stoneware. But for crusts, for cookies, they cook evenly inside and out. You need some stoneware, okay, if you don't have one yet. So those of you that do have stoneware, What's your favorite piece of stoneware? Put it in the chat. I want to hear it. So we're just going to take this bread. We're going to put it in our cooking blender. We're not going to cook it. We're just going to grind it. And hopefully this works because I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> but I've been saving this bread and I was like, you know what? Today's the day since we're making meatloaves. Today's the day. I want to turn this into breadcrumbs. And, oh man. So much better. You can even see them this yourself, and then you can just put it in a container and store it. But yes, try making your own bread. I'm just starting to experimenting with making my own bread, and I've actually really enjoyed it because there's nothing like baking and um, not baking, biting into homemade bread. Right when it comes out of the oven, <laughs> put some butter and Nutella on it. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so. This is um, our deluxe cooking blender, for those of you that may not know this. And it does cook, okay? So it is, um, it does the basic thing the normal blender does, of course, right? But this is like a powerhouse. This is like the Ferrari of all blender, blenders. You can take nuts and grind them. You can turn oats into oat flour. You can put Parmesan cheese in here, like a whole block and and it grates your Parmesan cheese into the super small, like, restaurant Parmesan cheese. So, but what's really cool is that it's a cooking blender, so it actually cooks. So some of the other uh, blenders on the market, they don't actually cook. They heat by friction just because that friction generates heat. But this actually has a cooking element. It will bring this up to boiling and has a jam setting. Like, you could literally throw your um, berries in here and you know it's a couple other things that make your own jam and you'll see like you'll see it like bubbling up it's really cool um, you can make soups in here raw vegetables and it comes out piping hot you can make sauces like hollandaise sauce alfredo sauce cheese sauce nacho cheese sauce um, and then you can even make some heated puree for baby food right that's another thing you can save money on and you can make your own baby food right so much cheaper to do that I wish I had this when my kids were little, but um, look at me, I'm talking you know, like I'm old or something, but it's okay. <laughs> my kids are now 10 and 12. Their birthdays are yesterday and today. All right, so we are going to um, do the grind setting, I think, and it's going to get really loud, okay? So while that goes and goes and goes, comment here so I know who's watching. We, we got Wisconsin in the house. I love it. Um, I'm doing my own sourdough. Okay, that's like... Bread baking 2.0, I'm not there yet, uh, but that's okay. We can level up, right? So I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, here we go. It's going to get really loud. 
Might have to stop it and go and put put all oh, those things down. <laughs> got all the bottom pieces. So the breadcrumbs are needed in meatloaves to make things like nice and soft and moist, but also for the egg to have something to bind with. I think you didn't know that. So if you didn't know this, Pimper Chuck Consultant, we're not real chefs. <laughs> We are moms, grandparents, dads. We are basic people at home trying to get dinner on the table cheap, easy, and fast. That's what we stand for. Okay, if you didn't know this. All right, that was about right. Okay. We'll do the other half. So we got half a cup of breadcrumbs. We'll see if we can get this other half going, or we might do this off the screen later and finish it up. Okay, you want to mix this? Okay, 
See, and you can use the mix and chop so you don't even have to get your hands dirty. All right? So, on to our pan. So let's go get our pan. We throw this away. Let's go get a little mini loaf pan. And as always, guys, if you're new to Pamper Chow, actually, I would love to know that. Who's new to Pamper Chow? Who's got like less than five products in the house? Or maybe we even have some zero people on. Um, and then who's got more than 10? Where are my Pamper Chow lovers? Put it in the chat. Who's got less than five or even zero? And then who's got more than 10 Pamper Chow products? So we are using the mini loaf pan right now. Pretty cute. You can make mini breads, mini pizzas. I mean, gosh, the variety, you know, the things are endless. And then we're going to use our kitchen spritzer. You're just going to pump it until you kind of feel it like bouncing back like this. And then you can just spray your pan. And that way you can fill this with anything you want. It's another saving money tip, right? Instead of adding pan to your shopping list, that's like two, three dollars. You can just get a bottle of oil, which you already have laying around, and you can make your own nonstick spray. And it doesn't have all those chemicals in there. But, big tip, make sure you burp it when you're done, okay? Make sure you burp it when you're done. Okay, let's see. We got some, more than 10, Stacy. more than 10. Well, I just happen to know that you are a Camper Chub lover if you have more than 10 products, right? So, uh, okay, so we're going to fill our little meatloaf boats, and then they're going to go in the oven at 375 for like 20 to 25 minutes, okay? Once they come out, there's a tool that comes with this pan. You can put this little like dent into them, um, or you could, you know, if you don't have that and you're using a different pan, you could probably use a spoon or something. won't be as perfect, but we'll make it work. All right, so like I said, you can use ground beef. Uh, this is great for meal prep too, right? If somebody's over here trying to eat healthy, you could prep some mini turkey boats. Add some, if you wanted to add some veggies, you could use our kale and fiber rituals. You could grate in some zucchinis, grate in some carrots, and you could eat, add even more veggies. Or you can just be like me and add some Enrichable super veggies, right? You can do that as well. So, um, all right. So this is going to go in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I'll post the final results below. And then I'll um, show you. So once this is done, then in that meantime, you could make your mashed potatoes. And then once this is done, you pipe some mashed potatoes um, on top as well. Okay? So thanks for popping in today. Thanks for hanging out, and don't forget the spices that we use are part of our Taste Bud subscription. So if you are struggling with what's for dinner every night, get yourself a Taste Bud subscription. Super fun, nice little adult surprise box every month, and you can try some new recipes, okay? If you are on live, will you leave us a comment and just comment live? If you're watching the replay later, we appreciate all the comments. And if you do try this recipe, you um, can follow this video. You can go to pamperchuff.com and just type in meatloaf and mashed potato boats, and you can print out one of these, or you can just message me or your consultant, and you can get one.